The government has commenced expansion works on canals and desiltation of rivers in the expansive Ahero, West and East Canal irrigation schemes to avert destruction of paddy rice during the expected El Nino rains. The schemes that sit on an estimated 16,000 acres of land and is expected to produce close to 39,000 metric tons of rice, up from 32,000 metric tons realized last uh, season. Achola Simon now has the details. It is race against time here in West Kano as the government moves to avert flooding and at the same time drive up production of rice ahead of the expected heavy rainfall. We have about 16,000 acres that we have put under rice. So if we can be able to double that area, it will be 32,000 acres that will be under rice production and that one will be able to push our production to 80,000 metric ton. Oma revealed that the government has already deployed at least one excavator to expand the canals and one more is on the way. And uh, this area, unless uh, we put up mitigation measure in case it rain, it may really, farmers may uh, uh, may lose their crop. All our mainstream rivers should be desilted and again the outlet pump procurement is inevitable. Let it be done in the next one month. We want a new pump there with a capacity which can be able to flood the water from the scheme. The meteorological department has already issued an alert over the expected Illinois rainfalls and mapped canal plains as a flood prone area. Farmers want the ongoing preparations to address the challenges posed by birds on the scheme. We are able to produce uh, almost 48 metric term thousand but you know all half of this is consumed by the birds so the farmers go back empty handed and it beats the logic where somebody is going back into rice production the farmers say a substantial amount of their produce was lost last year due to birds actually simon is a friday it's county